Jared Maynard again, wanted to answer another question. And this time, the question is, how important have you found it to network with like-minded individuals in your experience? And how should people go about doing that? So I've found it extremely important for, for me as a clinician. I found it formative, you could say, to network with people who are similar to me in a few ways, specifically in that they're they're looking to be better. They're looking to improve their knowledge. They recognize that uh, they don't have all the answers, and they're just looking to to do what they can to become better clinicians, better people in general, um, and they're looking to make some positive changes, maybe in their profession, maybe in the lives of the people they work with, their family, their friends, stuff like that. I think that it's important for us to bear in mind that we can easily get siloed into echo chambers as we look for people who are like-minded. I don't think, for the record, that being around like-minded people, people who promote the same sort of messages and are saying similar things and maybe share certain similar biases to you is necessarily a bad thing. I don't think that at all. Um, I do think that it is important to recognize where our biases lie and to check them. And I think that having interactions with well-read, intelligent people can help us to do that. So for me, one of the most Im important and formative uh, places for this exchange to happen um, is the Clinical Athlete Forum and even private messages back and forth with friends and colleagues through social media or through text or email. So um, I guess that gets into the second part of the question, which is how can or how should people go about networking? So social media, it's a double-edged sword. Um, I had answered another question about how should we go about or what my top tips were for being well-read. And, and my top tip was uh, know where your time is going and be aware of the time sucks inclusive of social media. Um, that said, social media is a fantastic tool to connect people who aren't close geographically. And I've met some really great friends and colleagues that that I value tremendously through the internet, through social media. Um, and it's been kind of kind of weird in that sometimes we've met each other in person and it's the first time that we're meeting each other in person, but it feels like we've been friends for a really long time. So anyway, social media can be really great. I'd suggest that if there's somebody that you respect, someone who you want to interact with, whether there's someone whether that person is someone who agrees with, with a particular point that you might hold or has a different viewpoint, maybe shoot them uh, a quick message. And of course, keep it respectful. That's gonna be key for any of these interactions. Um, and be clear about your intentions, be charitable. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that a lot of people, the majority, hopefully, are very opening, open and welcoming of that sort of thing. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by a number of people that I've talked to in some way, shape or form through through the internet who have offered to just hop on a Skype call. Um, and through some of those Skype calls, I've developed some really strong uh, friendships. So don't be afraid to reach out to people through social media. Um, also, if you're close to someone, let's say you're a student and you have some time during a semester or summer break, or even during a placement, if you're close to someone whom you respect as a clinician, um, maybe take the initiative and ask if you can do some shadowing. Uh, one of uh, my now friends and, and future colleagues is a PT, his name is Kyle. He's on his last placement for physio school and he asked if he could come shadow me because I moved to his area not long ago. Um, and he's taking extra time while he's already fulfilling his requirement for the placement to come out and spend a few hours with me each week. Usually we're doing this a couple nights. And he, he's told me that he's found that really, really beneficial, which I'm really grateful to hear because that's all that I want to come out of these sorts of things. So yeah, take the initiative if you have the opportunity. Um, and it doesn't have to be a long-term thing. Maybe it's just a one-off and you go out for coffee with somebody and you just talk shop. Um, and you ask them what they do to, to find information and what resources they really value, and you come away with a few gems, and then you can incorporate that into your own practices or add that to your own stash of, 
of resources. And you do that enough times and uh, you'll have a pretty good stash of resources and a pretty good network of people. So there you go. Hopefully that was helpful and we'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.